The Gin Blossoms on 92.3 WTTS. It's a little like stepping outside and letting the sun hit your face, isn't it? It, it? Wouldn't you like that feeling out in the fresh air at a place like the Indiana State Fair? How's Friday night sound? Uh, they're going to be there. And I have Jesse Valenzuela from the band here to prove it. Good morning, Jesse. Hey, brother. How are you? It's nice to talk to you. It is so cool to have you. Okay. I saw you guys last year at Red Rocks. I was at that oh. Red Rock show. Yeah, with Bare Naked Ladies. Sure. And it seemed like you guys were having a good time. That tour was a long time in the making, though. And that was a lot of shows last year. Was that fun? Were, were there any stories from that tour? That's a long tour. It was a long tour. It was a couple months, I think. Yeah. Well, it was nice to play all those places we hadn't we hadn't been to in so long, and it was nice to come off that break. It's strange though. It's you know it's a it's kind of a good news bad news because quite honestly, it was a lot of work after having not been at work for a long time. So I think for me personally, I got used to being home. Yeah, it's hard to come and, off uh, that. It's it is, and it was like oh, this is so relaxing, you know. It, it, <laughs> It was, you know, right back into the fire. So I've I've wanted to ask somebody from the Gin Blossoms this question for a long time, and I think you might be the perfect person. So I want your honest answer. How do you feel about the term jangle pop? Um, it's kind of annoying. Is it? Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> I really because, am. I, I, because I, I don't, I mean, the word itself is so cloying. And um, I'm kind of, a, I mean, I was cert- I'm certainly a purveyor of that sound, and I know I, I've made a, a nice way for my life playing like that, but I don't want to do it all the time because it takes a lot of, it takes up a lot of oxygen. Does it? Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, if you think about it in, in the mix, if you have this, this uh, arpeggio guitar, it's like, you know, you can get away with it. It's like... Uh, you, you sort of age out of it. You can't really keep doing that. You don't want to have just one one trick. You'd like to have a tool toolbox with more than just one or two tricks. Yeah, of course. Having said that, when when that sound is employed by the able, capable hands of like the master Roger McGuinn, <laughs> you think you you know I'm I'm thankful for it and I'm awestruck and I think God Boy, that guy just plays so beautifully. Yeah, but but, but I've I've heard I've heard people play it. I've heard myself play it in frames and positions where it didn't belong. Is that right? And where does it feel like it doesn't belong? Where it ha- ends up happening sometimes? When it happens too much. Ah, okay, all right. Right, it's like a it's like paprika. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like that parallel a lot. A little too much is a little too much. A little too much. A little too much. The fine line between sugar and saccharin, that kind of thing. <laughs> yes, there you go. All Very right. well put. Jesse Valenzuela of the Gin Blossoms. He'll be here Friday night at the Indiana State Fair. Jesse, not just a pleasure, an honor. Thank you. No, it was a great time. I appreciate it. Um, and hopefully I get to meet you at the fair. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Thank you, Jesse. All right, buddy. Take care now, brother.